you will observe that as long as you remain faithful to this assumption, what you just did here and now, as long as you remain faithful to that assumption, and you don't go back to your physical reality with all the worry and the doubt and all the bullshit, okay? You remain faithful to believing this is coming into fruition. This is here and now, okay? So long will your attention, your thoughts, be confronted with images clearly related to that assumption, okay? So I'm sure if you were thinking about your lifestyle and you're on the sandy beach and you had your family around, your kids are running around all happy, maybe you're tossing the ball to them, okay? And you can feel your feet in the sand and the warm sun on your body and you're in Hawaii, okay? You're making $100,000 per month. You have businesses all over the world, right? As you get into that momentum phase in imagination, you start to think in images according to that state. You think all ideas, events, in accordance with that assumption on the surface of your mind. No physical circumstances is playing a role. Only an imagination is where you are. As long as you remain faithful to that assumption, as long as you remain in that focused attention state. Okay, hopefully this should make a lot of sense so far. Just gonna divide this off too, because we're going to a little spot here. A little example. down there here great now he does a beautiful example for example if you assume that you have a wonderful business you have a kick-ass business it's going very well it's growing substantially you just assume that things are happening very well whether they are physically or not you will notice how in imagination your attention is focused on incident after incident scenario after scenario relating to that assumption friends congratulate you oh you're doing so good in business how much money are you making Oh my God, I never would have thought that was even possible for anybody, let alone all of us that grew up in this. Man, you're an inspiration. Tell you how lucky you are. You're just the luckiest man on the face of the planet. And you're muttering inside your head, well, if you saw what I had to you know, go through to get there, you wouldn't say I'm so lucky. And if you knew the laws of the universe, you would say I'm not so lucky. Anyways, others are envious and critical. You can't, you're gonna grow too fast. Right? I don't know if Nate, you're on this call. I can't see the participant list yet. Um, but maybe, you know, that thing that you brought up on Friday, you said, uh, can I grow too fast? People sometimes say that. They said, uh, others may be envious and critical saying, you're earning $100,000 a month. Why are you taking it all? You know, whatever it is. From there, your attention goes to larger offices, more buildings. Um, if you're in a company atmosphere, bigger speaking gigs, if you're a speaker, bigger bank balances, you can see that in your mind and many other similarly related events. Persistence in this assumption every day will result in actually experiencing in physical reality that which you assumed. You don't get what you think about. You get what you think about most times, okay? Bob said that over the event last, uh, or um, in Toronto, over a week ago now. We don't get what we think about. We get what we think about most times, right? So if you think about your goal for five minutes, that doesn't mean it's happening. But when you're intensely emotionally involved with this attention, like we're talking about, that's when it happens. Okay. Okay. Now that should make a lot of sense so far. Let's wrap it up. Okay. Here at the very bottom. The same is true regarding any concept. Okay. If your concept of yourself is that you're the one that always has trouble paying bills, it's going to be reality. If you're the one, like he says, that you believe you're a failure, that's what you're going to encounter in imagination, and you will find images, feelings associated with that thing, okay? If you're always the one that doesn't have enough money, you're always that guy, you're always that girl, you feel frustrated, lack, you feel these images in your mind, you worry about your bank balance, you do all these things in imagination before anything even happens. If you're always the one, though, to do miraculous things, you will find and encounter in imagination these ideas constantly popping up on your mind. Thus, it is clearly seen how you, by your concept of yourself, determine your present, determines what you're experiencing. That is, the particular portion of creation which you now experience, and your future, that is, the particular portion of creation which you will experience. Whew. 